And that's part of the research as well, was looking at social prescription, because that's a real part of my NHS role. We use social prescription a lot for our, for our clients we find in the community that are isolated and alone. Mm. I mean, they have to like singing. It's got to be meaningful for them. You can't just go, right, <laughs> get down the choir, and they're like, oh, I hate singing. They've got to like singing. <laughs> it's like gardening. I can't say to somebody, well, you know what, you've got really real balance issues, um, and your knees you know, are a bit weak, so you need to do your some exercises for lower body strength so my mind will say well digging a garden you know it's not just going to sit in the house and do squats because no one's going to want to do that but go and dig your garden but if they're mm. not interested in gardening you're not going to get anywhere with that are you but if you could direct them to a choir and part of the choir which I do try to integrate some physical activity in the warm-up to try and get them standing sitting you know sit to stands and so it's all in there it's all and I think that's the beauty of being led by a health professional is that you can see the holistic you can look at the choir and you can present to them a game that you can be thinking about how that those goals you're looking at some other goals you may be looking at cognition you may be looking at uh, multitasking maybe looking at I don't know communication so many different things you could you could kind of target 